practical adjustment and what happens. First thing I typically do is analyze the patient to find muscle imbalance in areas where there's a lack of proper joint play. And so I can find where there's a subluxation. Basically, the joint's not moving well and it affects how the nerve works. And so here's one right here, right in his mid to lower thoracics. I'm gonna have Dr. Klein take a good breath in and breathe all the way out. Good. Got some good movement in a couple areas of his back there. What I'm also noticing is that his right hip is a little bit high. So his pelvis is torqued. And that's gonna create tension all the way up his back. So Dr. Klein, I'm gonna have you turn on your side, facing this way. Before the end of the video, I'm gonna explain what that popping noise is that you hear when you actually receive an adjustment. So here I'm positioning the pelvis in such a way that I can adjust downward and get it back into alignment. Perfect. I'm gonna have you lay on your back, please. Oftentimes I'll check leg length just to see if we're making difference during the adjustment and how we're balancing everything out. I'm gonna go ahead and check the neck region and see what we have here. So we'll palpate the neck and I'm looking for kinks, right? I'm looking for trigger points, areas where the muscles are really bound up and that's typically where the muscle is compensating for stress or misalignment. I call one right here. So we're gonna adjust that by positioning that joint where it's ready to adjust right back in the correct position. Perfect. And then there's one more at the very top of the neck at C1. And this is the one that normally creates migraine headaches. Perfect. Cool. Great job, Dr. Klein. Real quick, just wanna to touch on what the adjustment does, okay? First of all, when a joint hasn't moved properly, let's take a look at Phil here. When a joint hasn't moved properly, it starts to build up pressure inside the joint. For example, a facet joint in the cervical spine, okay? Can stop moving properly, muscles get tight, and that creates a buildup of fluid pressure in that joint. Now let's say that you slept on your neck badly all night long and you wake up with a kink in your neck or you're reading a book for three hours with your head leaned over on your, your arm, right? Well, <clears throat> what happens is that tight, bound up, stressed muscle, okay, prevents that joint from moving correctly. So then I go and I locate that joint and I adjust it, right? Now when I open up that joint and you hear that popping sound, I'm not actually moving the joint beyond uh, direction that it would normally go. Okay, I'm taking it into its normal joint range of motion, but for now it's not able to go there because of all the tension. So we release that tension. Okay, so that noise is not bones hitting other bones. It's not your joints going further than they should. What it is is their joints going where they should go, and then when that happens, it releases the buildup of fluid pressure. And when that release happens, it creates a little air bubbles inside that synovial joint. And that's why you can hear that sound, that popping sound. And now when that happens, we stimulate mechanoreceptors that shut down pain pathways and it helps with pain. We reset Golgi tendon organs inside of the muscles to help reset the muscle tension. And that muscle is oftentimes still injured. So it still takes time for the muscle to heal up, but that improves the recovery time and reduces the symptoms greatly. And most important, it reduces the amount of stress that that subluxation was causing on the nerves that come out of the spinal cord that affect all sorts of things. Like for instance, I had one person today and their rib was out and their thoracic spine was out right here, affecting the nerves here and creating a muscle tension pattern all the way down into the front of the shoulder. As soon as I adjusted that rib and that, and that thoracic vertebra, all of a sudden the muscles were able to let go and the pain in her arm went away immediately. It's not always the case that pain and symptoms go away immediately, but it is a case that with time and repetition, we can change how the body is operating. We can change how the muscles are balanced and how they're functioning and improve a person's health overall. So if that sounds good to you, come check us out. Thanks for checking in.